Hello planner friends, welcome back to Lakeisha Loves to Plan. This is a homemaker collab with Clarissa from Sunny in the Suburbs and beautiful creators. Make sure you check out all the creators in the playlist and it is about Thanksgiving. I'm going to show you how to brine a turkey. Enjoy everyone. All right, happy Thanksgiving everyone. Um, I am excited about showing you how to brine. I have had so many questions about brining. Um, even my husband, <laughs> my husband said he told people at his job about brining, and they're like, "What are you talking about?" I swear by brining. Um, I never ever get complaints about my turkey being dry. I promise you, if you do this brine right here, you are never ever ever gonna get complaints about your turkey being dry. And plus, a lot of people ask me, um, how, how do you brine? So I want to show you, um, I use the Pioneer Woman's recipe. You can find this recipe anywhere on the internet. But this is what I do. I take my recipes and I make a shopping list and directions all on the same. And I put the sleeves here. Um, I put the sleeves here and I put a picture of what I wanted to look like. So that is what it looks like. This is the turkey wrapped in the brine. And you put it in like a uh, either a, um, some people put it in a bucket with some ice. I, I don't do that. Some people put it in like a big bowl. I usually put mine in a really big bowl and stick it in a refrigerator. But you have to leave it in your refrigerator for 16 to 24 hours. So what this does this mixture here is like a salt water solution and it breaks down the muscle of the turkey and makes it so juicy and then i end up then i cook it in a bag which makes it more juicy and when i say my turkey be falling off the bone something like that so so i'm about to show you how to brine a turkey Anybody out there already know? Let me know in the chat if you already brine your turkey and what recipe you use. Um, so anyway, I, this is how I do my recipe. So I took it straight out of my uh, recipe notebook. This stays with me the whole Thanksgiving because I go through here and I check off. Once I finish with this recipe, I put it to the side. I do the next recipe, put it to the side. It just keeps my life very easy. With this. I have my ingredients down here on the counter. Um, so I'm just going to, let me move this out the way. I'm just going to show you all of the ingredients that you need. So let's start with the ingredients. So I have, um, light brown sugar and I'm proud of myself because I kept this for a long time and it's still soft. Um, light brown sugar. I have three oranges. Uh, I don't know if I want to use all three of these oranges because I think it's, the recipe calls for three normal size oranges, but these are big, so I might just use two. I don't know. And then I have I have to cut up this onion. The recipe does not call for onion, but I'm gonna put an onion up in here because I just like onion. It, but the recipe does call for garlic, and I get this garlic from the grocery store that's already peeled and ready to go. It comes in a bag. It's in the produce section when I am cooking I don't have time to cut all that garlic but I need a lot of garlic so I get this already peeled garlic um so I have I put it in here that's one third cup so that's how much garlic I like to put it put in it you can put as much garlic as you want but I am a garlic chick so I have one third cup of that garlic I also bought some rosemary sprigs now Sometimes when I don't have this, I use the dry rosemary. But since I have this, I'm going to use the sprigs here. They're very strong. And now I'm going to um, show you the seasoning that I use. I use a variety of seasoning, even though the recipe, um, I think the recipe only requires like salt and sugar. Um so I use both salts. I use the regular salt and I use the kosher salt just because kosher salt is a um, big grain and it's good to use on meats. And then this is the small grain. So you don't want to use like, um, you know, chicken broth or nothing like that. You want to just use salt and water because this is what causes the um, muscle to break down in the turkey is the salt and the sugar. 
This all is break down the muscle in the church. Okay. And then I'm also going to add some seasonal. Um, some I have garlic, and I might use garlic powder too, just a little bit. Um, I add parsley since I have rosemary. I kind of like the herbs, so I add parsley. I also add onion powder. Um, I add whole black peppercorn. This is important for this recipe. It gives it like, I don't know, like maybe a smoky flavor. So this is a whole black peppercorn. Um, and I remember one year I didn't have this and I used pepper and it just didn't do the trick. You got to get the whole black peppercorn. And then the recipe also calls for fresh bay leaves and they're still good so and they come in here i'm just going to use these dry bay leaves you don't need a lot of bay leaves at all i usually put like one or two or something in there and then i have some dry bay leaves just um i'm sorry dry basil as well just to give it that herbal flavor so those are all of my um seasonings and then I'm going to use water because the recipe calls for a lot of water. <laughs> and this is something you need to apple cider. Apple cider. And so you need a couple of cups of this. So all you have to do is like set up a little bit. So I'm going to cut the onion now. I'm also going to cut the oranges because I don't need the whole orange. I just need the skin on the orange. So I'm going to rinse. I think I want to only use two. I don't know. I think I'm only going to start with two. Because these are huge. Like, these are big. Um, so I'm going to start with the skin. And I'm going to peel the little, little sticker off. And then I'm going to rinse these really quick at the sink. And I already washed my hands. So I'm going to start with the onion first. And with the onion, you just want to do a, um, a rough, I'm going to do a rough, a rough cut. Not anything like spectacular. We just want to do a quick rough cut. Yeah, I have, I'm so excited about my family coming. Everybody's excited about coming. And um, I got a big turkey. I got like a 21 pound turkey. And... But for my family, that's not big. They won't gobble that turkey up. So, so excited. So now what I'm doing is I'm just doing a rough cut of the onion. Um, nothing special, just um, chopping it in really big pieces. Because this, when you do this brine, you want to coat the turkey with it you want to tie it in a bag and everything um and then you just want to throw the ingredients away because it has been sitting on like raw the turkey has to be fully thawed out and raw when you put this on it so you don't want to use the brine for anything else you want to throw the brine away um but you'll see you can tell like the onions and everything will be shriveled up. You can tell that it has been doing its job <laughs> once you take it, um, remove the turkey from the brine after like 16 to 24 hours. So now I'm going to just take these rough cuts of um, onion. I want to separate some of them, get more bang for my buck. Like so, like that. That was a pretty big onion. But I love onion and garlic. So we have that ready. We have the onion and garlic here. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, actually, I'm going to move this onion. <laughs> Stop starting to cry. We'll move it over here. Um, now I'm going to cut up the orange. And the orange, you just have to cut so you can use the peel. We're going to use the peel of the orange, okay? over here so I'm just cutting the sides off like that and I'm not going to use the middle just the peel 
See, I have that whole middle left over. I usually save that for my son. He's like, Mommy, can I have that? <laughs> so I'm going to save this part for my son to just get all that nicey juice, nice juicy um, peel. And I'm just going to make sure these are kind of even. This is, I need to cut this one. Okay. So that's one. And this is two. Again, just taking it, so I'm just mainly using a peel. All right, so that's good. So now I have this. I'm going to remove the knife and the cutting board. All right, so now I have my um, onions, I have my garlic, and I have my oranges. I'm just gonna take the, can you all see this? I'm just gonna take these and just remove like this, the spriggy, what is this, the spriggy part? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna remove these all like that now this is very like when you use the actual like sprigs it smells so good I wish you all can can y'all smell that <laughs> I wish you could smell it it smells so good so you do not need to use a lot of this this is potent now if this, but if I use the dried Rosemary, which I do still use the dry rosemary when I season the turkey before I put it in the oven. I do use the dry rosemary. And then what I do is I, I save the rest of the sprigs to put it inside the turkey. So all these sprigs will actually get used up. But I don't want to use all of it in the brine. So, all right. So now I just have the tree branch left. All right. So... I want to put this away because I want to use that later. And I'm going to take these sprigs and just, I'm just going to add it to the top of the garlic because guess what? It's all going together anyway. All right, now we're, now we're in business. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pot, just a regular pot, and I am going to now put um, water and apple cider vinegar in. So if the recipe says a gallon of water, but I'm, I don't know if I want to do a gallon. I'm just going to like fill this up. Maybe I will say maybe halfway. I don't know. I'm just going to use all. I'm just going to use all this water. This is a gallon, but it wasn't a whole gallon. It wasn't a whole gallon. See, that's like half. That's like halfway. And then you're supposed to use, um, how, how much is this? I'm looking at my um, notes here. Oh, three cups. All right. So... This container is about a cup, so I want to do try to do three cups of this. Okay, that's one cup. It smells so good. It smells just like apple juice. Two. And last one. Three. All right, so now it's almost full, which is good because I have a 20 pound turkey. So that's, that's enough liquid to cover the turkey. So here comes the fun part. So, all right, so I got my water and my um, apple cider mixture in here. So now I'm about to add the ingredients. So I'm gonna add the um, seasonings first and then I'll add the stuff that I cut so let's start with brown sugar it says two cups uh, I don't know if I'm doing all that brown sugar but this is a cup 
this is a cup okay so i don't know if i'm doing two cups y'all but i'll try to do like this one i mean this recipe is like you're eyeing it you're smelling it i usually smell it <laughs> um but it's brine again it's not you know you're just using it to make the turkey flavorful and soft so that's one cup of brown sugar and maybe I'll do a half a cup this time. I'll do a half a cup. So the recipe calls for two cups, but I don't think I need that because I don't have a whole gallon of water in here. All right, so this is a half, like a half a cup. So I'm going to pour that in there as well. So brown sugar, check. So now I'm going to go to the salt. So this recipe calls for one and a half cup of salt. So I do have two types of salt. So salt is very important because that really helps to break down like the meat. So I'm gonna use the same and I'm gonna do, I don't, I do not like using a lot of salt y'all. This just seems like a bit much right here. So I think I'm gonna do a half a cup of this regular salt morton regular morton salt and then i'm going to also do a half a cup of kosher and that will give me like one cup of salt because i don't want like i said i'm not doing a whole gallon of water so i feel like i don't need that much salt All right, I mean, that's not quite a half a cup. This is taking forever to come out. All right, that's good. All right, y'all, see that? That's the kosher salt. I want to add that. Okay. So then, that's really all the recipe calls for before you put the chopped stuff in, but I want to put my own little stank on it. So I'm going to add my little seasoning. I have season all here. I'm just going to, I'm eyeing this, y'all. I'm eyeing this like a teaspoon or something. Um, this is onion powder, just a little. And remember, this is brine. So it's, it's going on the outside of the turkey to coat it. I'm making a video. That's my 17-year-old. That's my Jordan, say hi to everybody. Hey. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do the uh, black peppercorn next. So you just want enough black peppercorn to um, coat the turkey. I mean, I'm putting it in my hand so you can see like how much I'm using. I mean, just drop it in. This makes a difference too. Dropping it in. This is so much fun. All right, that's enough. <laughs> so parsley. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take this top off just because this is about to annoy me. Okay. I love herbs, I can't get enough of herbs. Now I'm gonna take basil. I think this is the last, yeah, basil is the last um, herb. A little basil, not too much because basil is kind of strong. All right, so now that I have this in here, I'm just going to take my spoon and stir it around a little bit. And it smells so good. And it's hard to stir because all that sugar and salt is at the bottom. So I'm stirring it around. All right. So lastly, I'm going to put the rosemary and garlic in, put all of it in there. I'm gonna put the onion in. And for the grand finale, the last ingredient in the pot are your um, orange peelings. Orange peelings, like so, like that. So um, now I'm just coating, see how it's mixed and all of the herbs are on top of the oranges and on top of the onions and I'm mixing 
Okay. You can see the peppercorn in there. So it looks kind of weird, but <laughs> but you, what you're going to do is, and what I'm going to do is now I'm going to boil this. This is why I'm starting on a Tuesday because um, when you make brine, you cannot have it hot. It cannot be hot on the turkey because it will cook the turkey. So you want it to be a straight room temperature. So that's why I do the brine on Tuesday because literally this has to sit on the stove overnight and early in the morning on Wednesday morning tomorrow, I will put the turkey in the brine. And let me show you how I do that. So you can use a brining bag or you can use an oven bag. So I use, these are leftover from last year. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to take the turkey tomorrow morning and I want to put the turkey in this bag and then I'm going to pour this in the bag with the turkey. Wrap it up, put it in a big bowl and put it in my refrigerator. And the turkey will stay in this bag until Thursday morning. On Thursday morning, I take the turkey out this bag, I rinse it off, I season it, and I put it in the oven and cook it. Okay? So that's how it works. So the oranges are very important because they're acidic. The oranges and the apple cider are acidic. So they break down the muscle along with the salt and along with the... Um, light brown sugar they all work together to break down the muscle and then like the seasonings and the herbs and the peppercorn season the chicken so the chicken also gets the skin the skin i mean i said chicken lord have mercy turkey they season the turkey so the turkey gets a nice flavoring in the skin so i'm going to now take the pot that i just put together and I'm gonna place it on the stove like that. And then I'm going to leave it here on high until um, until it boils. And when it boils, you it smells up the whole house. It's like potpourri. So I'm gonna put it on high right now. So it's on high. So now I'm just waiting for it to boil. If you want it to boil fast, you could put a top on it. But honestly, y'all, I don't put a top on it because I like the way the house smells. Um, and when everybody in my house, I don't know if y'all can see my face. Yeah, I see that. When everybody in my house smells this, they know that Thanksgiving cooking has started. So um, it is boiling now. It, it takes like... Um, maybe five minutes to start boiling. So I, I don't leave it on longer than 10 minutes. Um, and then after that, I put a top, I put a top on it cause I just want to protect it. And I'll sit it like back here in the back of the oven and I'll leave it here. This is going to be here all night long until it gets room temperature. And then I'm going to show you the size of my turkey. Just wait one second. <laughs> This is my newborn baby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look how big this turkey is. But believe it or not, that brine will cover this turkey. Let me show you the bowl that I put it in. Uh, and I've tried like buckets and stuff like that, but this bowl works every year. All right, so this is the bowl. I found this big bowl, so... I put this, I put the turkey in this bowl. I'm going to show you. So the turkey goes in this bag. So what I do is I take this bag and I open it up over the bowl like this. Okay, let me get close. And I put the turkey in here. Then this room temperature stuff, I pour it on top of the turkey. And once it's full, I take and seal this. Just imagine the turkey is in here with the brine. I seal it like this and it goes in the refrigerator. So that's how brining works. That's it. 
So let me know how you like this. Um, hopefully you know how to brine now. You know what brining is. You can share it with somebody. You can try it on your own. And it will help you become the masterful chef in your house. I, I, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. The brining works. <laughs> but thanks so much. I'll let y'all. I'll send y'all pictures of how the brining um, is turning out. But yeah let me know if you um want the recipe i can try to screenshot it and send it to you i'll share the recipe with anybody who wants it it's not mine it's the pioneer woman so um you can use it as well all right everybody thank you so much happy thanksgiving be safe and i will talk to you soon bye friends